Hello and welcome to a new video. As you've seen with the title, we're going to be doing some thrifting today. Uh, we're doing thrifting for the store, but also I'm always open to finding things for myself and um, yeah, just kind of get out and have some fun. I haven't left the house in a couple of days. I've been doing a lot of homeward bound computery boring stuff. So this will be really nice uh, to get out of It's like the most perfect day too. <laughs> It's so beautiful out. It's just, uh, it feels like summer is almost here. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We're just gonna go do that. The things that I need to get at the thrift store are um, a little different. I'm getting teacups. <laughs> I actually was hit up by my skincare gal and she had mentioned how she makes a really amazing like women's tea like it's a women balancing tea and I immediately jumped on board because everything in my store is about self-care and just feeling good and looking nice and it's just that paper doll experience uh, so to me you know starting from the inside and working your way out and just feeling good that that goes with the store in my opinion. So we're going to be having some teas delivered on Thursday. I have a lash that's sticking to my lower lash. Every time I blink, I feel like they're sticking together. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she's going to be dropping those off on Thursday and more candles because we sold out of two of the candles already. We only had one of each, so it's easy to sell out, but candles do really well in the store and I want to have now at this point, I just want back stock. So I want to make sure I have more when the relaxation candle goes. I want to be able to stick another one on the shelf. So she's making a nice delivery with that in the tea. And so I thought maybe it'd be kind of nice to just have a few little tea sets stacked up on one of my shelves. So I'm going to go see if I can find just a couple of little tea sets. I also think that my chapsticks need a cuter container to sell them out of because right now I've got them on the shelf and it just doesn't look right. So I want to get a little chapstick holder of sorts. So some sort of like neat vintage jar. Uh, so I'm going to be hitting the like home section, which you guys know, I'm always just up in that clothes section. So yay, thrift vlog. Okay, here is the outfit. I've got on a little Kate Spade crossbody mace bag with it and my Adidas slip-ons that go with everything. I mean, everything. They're just the most comfortable shoes of all time. And then this H&M dress. The only thing about this dress I'm noticing already is that it just keeps doing that. And it's driving me absolutely insane because it's definitely not designed for being like partially on your shoulder okay thrift store number one we are at value village and i usually have some success with uh dresses here and it's 70 degrees and there's a dog in a car two dogs oh i hate that Ugh. i mean the windows are down all like almost all the way that's just so annoying um yeah, I usually have a lot of success at this one, and so I'm going to start here. And I'm looking for the teacups for my tea that's coming in on Thursday, a container for my chapsticks to put on the shelves, and possibly a nice shirt or dress for my mom because she is coming to visit next week and she's flying in from Mexico and is bringing like nothing but I thought I would add like an article of clothing or something for her to that list so I'm going to see what I can find for my mom long-winded that was really long-winded
I'm so frustrated. I did the thing. I did the thing where I went thrifting, thought I was totally fine, and turns out I have to pee so freaking bad and no bathrooms are available. And so it just shortens my time there and I felt rushed. So now I have to like find a bathroom. I'm close enough to my house. I might as well just go back to my house to pee, but that's just annoying. Like when you get up and get going, maybe I'll try to find like a gas station. But I did find something and I'll show you guys um, what I found, not much but we're still hunting, we're still on the hunt. So off to the next one. Okay, now I am at my second location. We're at the Goodwill. I actually have some stuff I'd like to donate. I wonder if I can do both. That was uh, an experience. I got, I got a lot of stuff to show you guys. So we're gonna uh, do what we usually do where I wash it and then I try it all on for you tomorrow so I'll show you what I got tomorrow um, there was a woman following me around the entire time and showing me things and going oh would you like that and I was like no not my style and then she's like digging like through what I'm digging after I'm done like I'll like go through a section and then she'll like go in right after me and then I would move like to the other side of the room and she'd follow me. <laughs> it started to get a little weird. So I went as far away from her as I possibly could and sorted through everything to make sure I got exactly what I needed. Um, put a lot back even, but I found some really good stuff. A couple of things for myself, but most of it is gonna be for sale on the store. So yeah, anyway, I'm excited to show you. I might have time to show you tonight, but then I'll have to try it on tomorrow because I don't really, I just showered and I feel so like sparkly clean. I don't really want to try on a bunch of thrifted clothes right now. Um, so we'll do that tomorrow for sure. Hello, it's the next day. Welcome. We're going to talk about all the lovely things that I got at the thrift store. Are you ready for it? <laughs> I successfully got a lot of stuff for uh, my little boutique and a few things for myself. I went to three different places, the Goodwill, the Goodwill Bins, and the uh, Value Village, and I was successful in all places. Why do I feel itchy on my thumb? Um, so yeah, and then also just really quickly, here's a little close up of my smoky eye that I did this morning. Anybody who's curious? <laughs> I don't know if you are. It's one of those things where I wanted like my eyeliner to be really bold and then it just kept going. And then here we are, <laughs> smoky eye McGee. I'm gonna show you what I got. I, spoiler, already have on one of the things that I found. Here's Sienna from yesterday trying it on. This is, oh my God, it's something I'm going to live in. When I saw this, my eyes lit up because I'm all for the distressed tall tee oversized shirt look. And this has it all, <laughs> this has it all. Not selling this thing, I love it. I'm gonna wear it all the time all throughout summer and yeah. Let's just go ahead and talk about something you guys know I was thrifting for like to begin with. This was the main thing and I found exactly what I was looking for. I found a set of teacups. I don't want to sell it as a set. I would prefer to sell these individually but I have four of them and I need to give them a little wash. Look at these little starry teacups and it came with a set of four I love so these are gonna be for sale alongside the tea that I'm getting from West Coast Willow so we're gonna have tea sets uh, like that you can I was thinking maybe I would do them um, kind of a boxed deal like a, like all of it together I've, I've got to think about that and how it's gonna look we'll see how it comes packaged how she's bringing the tea bags but it's gonna be a set of 20 tea bags I believe and then you can get a teacup with it. So anyway, let's go through the clothes. It's a mixture of stuff for myself and a mixture of things that are that will be for sale in the store. So I'll let you know which one is which. If you see anything that you're interested in, just go to paperdolls.shop and you can buy them. I'll ship them out to you. So yeah, just let me know. Uh, the first thing that I saw, I couldn't try it on for you, but I will put it on the mannequin at the store in the photo so you can kind of see what it looks like on a body. But I love the mix of materials. I love it when you've got something like a jersey knit that's stretchy and so soft and then 
a silky scarf on the bottom. I just thought that was a super cute dress. And it's a size small. I would say it would fit somebody anywhere from a zero to a four. It does have some stretch and some give. So you've got room in there. And it has pockets. We love pockets. Everything needs pockets. Why wouldn't you put a pocket on something? Everything needs pockets. But yeah, it's the cutest. And the brand, I don't know what that is. So sorry, I don't have a brand for you. But yeah. I just really like this dress. Perfect for summertime. Something to just flounce around in on a hot summer's day with some sandals, some sunglasses, a little crossbody purse or a little basket purse because you know I'm all about those rattan basket purses right now would be super cute with this. So that's going in the store. Next up we have a lovely kimono. I'm all about a kimono with jeans and a white tee, a white bodysuit, toss this on over top so you have something just to um, kind of cover up. It's not really the warmest thing in the world, but yeah, I just thought it was a neat looking kimono. The pattern is kind of this chain link situation. It has pockets in the front, the belt loops, unfortunately, uh, there is no like wrap for it, but I think honestly you can just belt it with anything and there's no brand on it but you can't go wrong with a kimono you really can't so i just thought it would be nice to have this as like a robe so you can even just wear this around the house if you just want something to cover up with toss it on you look stylish you know this dress is just so cute it's this black floral uh skater girl style a skirt to it so it's a little on the shorter side it looks very similar to the red dress that i found for my birthday this past year um i did like a thrifted little red dress and styled it up and i felt really cute so and it i don't know it just fits nicely and i think these types of dresses are really flattering it's just nice to have something like this that gives you shape gives you a nice shape and shows off your legs so yeah i don't know i just really like this dress a lot i might save it for a moment and wear it for a photo or something so i'm going to keep this here but this will at some point end up in the store so if you love it to keep an eye out but for now i'm hanging on to it this one i really wanted to fit because i wanted it for myself i love peach i love anything in this tone i just feel like this nude peach tone looks really good on on my personal skin type but this is a wrap dress so it has a little wrap that goes across the front i'm really excited to see what this looks like on a mannequin because i can't see the style of the dress i just i'm having a hard time envisioning it because it's really like straight the dress itself and then the wrap goes across it across it uh so i couldn't try it on for you it's too small um it says it's a size small i would say it's reminiscent of a size four to six maybe can't wait to get that to the store and see what it's all about h&m xl so i'm really on the fence about whether or not i'm going to keep this for a moment and style it up again a lot of times what i'll do is just keep something so i can wear it one time get a nice photo in it and then post it in the store so they don't go straight onto the racks but if you guys ever see something like this that i don't say is mine and i'm not getting rid of it like this um, the possibility of it being for sale is pretty good, so just hit me up if you're interested. But I love this so much. It's got that kind of like linen um, nightgown, like I'm in my nighty, <laughs> I'm in my sleepy, my sleepy clothes vibe. But it's it's got uh, some ruffly detail on the bottom, and it's meant to have that big floofy dress oversized vibe to it. So it's got a little. Um, tie in the front too. I really like the way this looked. I think it would be really cute with some sandals, um, you know, when it warms up outside. So I had mentioned that I was looking for something for my mom because she's coming to visit soon and I always like to have a little gift or something for someone that I haven't seen in a really long time and especially someone that's a thrifter. And my mom is who got me into thrifting. She's been a, the ultimate thrifter. So this dress, I thought, just screamed mom to me and it has this little design on the collar of it and then around the bottom it looks like one of those little scarves just wrapped around it it's double lined it has a string that actually ties across the back of it so it keeps it on the body really nicely um and then oh, down the sides it has a little bit of like air <laughs> aerating so it breathes a bit Get some breeze through there i really liked this lacy detail going down the sleeves quite a bit and yeah it's just one of those materials that 
is cool and warm at the same time you know what I mean so depending on the weather you should feel comfortable in it and it just I think it would be really cute on her so um, this obviously I think she would it's pretty short but she's short so I think maybe this would be a dress on her if not she could wear yoga pants underneath it if she so f sees fit but really cute dress uh, the only thing I worry about is that it's a lard and hopefully it's not too big for her but got that for my mama I thought I would just show that to you guys this one is so flattering on the right figure and just such a beautiful dress. This is a BB dress. BB? Is it BB or Bebe? I never know, but I think it's BB. And it's size six, so it would be in that like small medium kind of category. I'd say small. No pockets, but just a really well made, nice structured dress. So this will definitely be going in the store. This one I felt like was a little unique. It's a Zara shirt and i'm not sure what i think about it it looks so 70s but this one is just unique in its own right uh size small but it fit me um so yeah it could be honestly any size i would say from small to large could fit this shirt and it's super cool looking so i thought i'd grab it these pants you guys I can't get away from houndstooth. I just love houndstooth and checkers and plaids and buffalo plaids and kangaroo plaids. There's no kangaroo plaid. I made that up. Is there? It sounds right. Uh, this is just a cool pair of pants and they're stretchy and they're high waisted and they're mine. You can't have them. <laughs> Sorry. Pockets. I love. I love. They're just great and they're capri. So perfect for this time of year. I'm going to have fun. And actually the top, the shirt that I put them with was one that I snagged. You guys know I love myself a dad shirt and I love especially a dad shirt that's like yacht rock style. So I just like see myself pimping on a yacht that I don't own, that I don't have and don't know anybody that has one. Um, I'll be on my rowboat with my yacht rock shirt and my plaid pants. This one is going in the store and it's super neat. I actually like it on me and I did sit there and battle with whether or not I wanted to keep it for a little bit and then put it in the store. But this is a Mark of New York, which every time I see the Andrew Mark clothing, I always at first think it's Mark Jacobs and then go, no, 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 that's not Mark Jacobs. It's a different Mark, <laughs> spelt the same. But I love this color and I love the way it looked. And I had the fan on up here because it was like 90 degrees up here yesterday. 70 outside, 90 upstairs. That's just crazy how this attic gets so hot. But this is like a goldenrod color and it's just a unique kind of pirate puffy, totally Seinfeld, like awesome, silky. It feels like raw silk. I, don't, I know it's probably not, but the material feels like raw silk. The, the neckline of it was really cool. It fit really nice and looked really nice on me. Nice, nice, nice. But I just think it's a cool looking shirt. But it's going in the store because I can't keep everything and I'm gonna regret that. <laughs> this lovely jean skirt is so 70s and so amazing and I love it and I'm keeping it. It's for me. I cannot tell you how many jean skirts I need in my life. I want all the jean skirts of all different sizes, shapes, colors jean tone <laughs> i want them all and this one buttons down the front all the way so you can unbutton it and i'm obsessed and i'm stoked this dress i think is so nice i love it it's h m and it's h m done right it has this raw edge to it it's lace it's completely see-through so you'd have to get a little creative with the slip you put underneath it it actually does fit me but it's a little snug so going in the store. I would keep it if it fit me. It's gorgeous. I just think this type of dress is just so elegant and it would be a nice like going to a wedding spring dress or just going out with my friends. And I like also that the little strappy strings here are velvet. So velvet strings on this glorious lace dress by H&M. I keep thinking that's like something on my shirt and it's not the whole. I've got another shacket. Don't shacket your pants, you guys. I've got another shacket. This is an Eddie Bauer, which is a Seattle-based. It says Seattle on it. <laughs> it's a Seattle-based um, company, and yeah, it's it's very Seattle. It's that grungy. I I don't care what I'm wearing, but I do outfit it's the styler. But it's got this like really nice green hue to it it's almost like a jean jacket but it's 
green and blue jean. Yeah, <laughs> that's my best way to describe it. But I love it. I think it's really cool. I think somebody's gonna really enjoy this thing. So um, size wise, it says it's an XL. It's 100% cotton. It's really well made. If you ever loved the 90s and the style of the 90s, this is the dress for you. <laughs> it is so 90s. It's small and it would fit, it would fit a slim figure really well. Um, I still tossed it on just to show you guys what it looks like, but I don't think it's very flattering on me. But if you have a slim figure and you like to make yourself look taller, this dress will make you look super tall. It's a medium and it's from Fashion Bug. Oh my gosh, do you remember Fashion Bug? I didn't even know Fashion Bug had clothes like this. Waffle patterned 90s dress with this little tiny tiny sleeves what are those cap sleeves yeah it's just i love this dress actually but if i were to style this i would probably you could wear a harness with it it would be really cute with a harness and some like chunky combat boots i think would be a really cute look and like a little hat i think wearing this with sandals and nothing to edge it up a little bit would make it a little bit too like what fashion bug intended for <laughs> so don't let them win <laughs> don't let fashion bug win style that up edge it up make it look cool this is a brand i've never heard of it says it's a 1x but it's one of those things where you're like really really what is 1x is that over xl like what are you trying to say but i think it could fit anyone from a medium to an xl because it has quite the give quite the give but it uh yeah it's really cute 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 dress Again, would look nice with something belted around it, but it does want to live here. It doesn't want to live here. It wants to live here. Noticed, I tried. So it's better to have a little like off the shoulder situation, but if you had it belted with, you know, something brown maybe across the waist and a little hat and some sandals, that would be cute. Neon, hot pink. <laughs> It's so bright. The camera doesn't do it justice. It's hurting my eyes to look at it. But with a tan, this is the shirt. This is just a cool shirt. It would look so good if you had a tan. So I just thought I would grab it because it was really affordable. This one I can't decide if I want to keep it. So honestly, I'm gonna have to see what I look like in it. So I think this is gonna be helpful having the cutaway of what I look like in this because I can't tell if it makes me look bigger than I am. I almost felt like it did. Like most clothes you want to have like slim you down and make you look skinnier and I feel like this might make me look bigger. And when you put stuff on like this, you just kind of feel like you're that cool friend that likes to read and gardens and like has a sense of humor. I don't know, when you wear this, you have to, you're a playful, fun person. <laughs> is that why they call them play suits? Last but not least, I'm keeping these. <laughs> Sorry to end on a me, but this is a pair of high-waisted, ripped up, acid-washed mom shorts, like mom jean style shorts, and they're button fly, and they're the dream. I love these so much. I, these are my favorite shorts now. I just found my favorite shorts. Anyway, so that is it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this thrifty haul and it wasn't too long-winded. It's really hard to do these short. That's why I have to dedicate these videos to one thing because it's so hard to keep it short. This weekend's video is going to be a work vlog. That's kind of what I've started to do this. I have, if you've noticed, I've started to do this um, more work vlog situation because I'm going to be getting new stuff in the store again this week with the tea set coming and then I'm going to add all of this to the inventory. So keep an eye on my website, keep an eye on all that and I'll have it up as soon as I can. Got to go get to work and photograph it, add it to the website. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you're not that's a big help to me and um what am i missing i'm distracted by a bird with a worm in its mouth it's so gross Blech. he's like dee, 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 dee. he's so proud of himself um anyway that's it that's all i got i'll see you guys on the following work vlog coming up bye